Kentucky Living Magazine, and the Kentucky Beef Council. Proudly present Jack Fry's executive chef, Sean Ward, for the Lean Beef Cooking Demo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our, our, uh, our strip. Uh, Grass-fed beef has little or uh, no fat to it, as you all can see. So uh, with this, uh, there is hardly no fat. So uh, we add a little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it. And we're gonna start grilling our steak. Okay, now while that's grilling, we are gonna make a grilled radicchio salad. So what we've done is we've taken uh, the radicchio, the head of radicchio, and we have quartered it, leaving the core intact. And the reason why we've done that is we are gonna grill the radicchio and the core will keep the head intact. So we're gonna put our radicchio in, in uh, our mixing bowl, add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna give it a really nice coat and we're gonna add our radicchio next to it, being careful that it does not flame up. And what we're doing here is we're grilling it, but we're also looking for the lettuce to wilt. We're gonna get all the flavor from the grill into the lettuce. And radicchio is um, generally a bitter lettuce. So when we grill it, we are going to be taking some of that bitterness out of the lettuce. Okay, now while our radicchio is grilling and our steak is grilling, we are gonna make a vinaigrette to accompany our dish. We're gonna take our jalapenos and our red onion and our lemon juice I want to use olive oil because I did try this with the white wine and I liked it better without it. Now that our radicchio is nicely grilled all right, we're going to take our country ham and just put it on the grill for just a second and all we're doing here is just warming up the ham to bring out its natural flavors. Okay, now we're gonna remove our radicchio and we're gonna remove that core just by giving it a little slice. Add this to our bowl. Give our ham a little, a little slice. I'm gonna use a little bit of a aged balsamic vinegar, a little bit more olive oil, and just give it a nice little toss. And we can actually go ahead and plate this on a grass-fed steak. Uh, anything past, a, in my opinion, anything past a medium rare medium is going to have a tendency to be uh, extremely tough. And um, if, uh, and, and, and actually what I should probably say is, you know, grass-fed and corn-fed beef, they both have their own separate spots. So it's really a personal taste. Um, I prefer, uh, I mean, I like both, depending on my mood. Uh, there's, uh, I think there's a, a good benefit, and both products are very good and very tasty, but uh, they, they, you need how to use both of them. So we're gonna let our steak rest. And like I said, we have a uh, aged Parmesan Reggiano that we're just gonna give a really quick grade over our grilled radicchio. 
stake is probably about there. We are going to go ahead and remove all of the fat and give it a nice little slice on the bias. Place this right on top of our radicchio. And then take our jalapeno vinaigrette and just give it a nice little line down the center to give it just a little bit of a sharp edge to it. Okay, and there you have a grass-fed piece of beef with as just as much flavor as the corn-fed beef, but with little or no fat. So.